Yeah. Being in the habitable zone. So I feel like I meant the proportions of the moon to the sun and the distance of the October the second of this year, we're going to have an eclipse. It is an annular eclipse, which means the moon is just not quite big enough to cover the sun, but it has a very interesting path across the surface of the earth. 95% of the time, this eclipse, annular eclipse, is going to be over water. So you have to get your boat in the right place so most people won't see it. it just 5% of the time is over land, but this eclipse actually crosses Easter Island, which is the most remote ha inhabited place in the whole planet with the big statues. I mean, a marvelous place to visit all by itself. So it makes it an unusual eclipse. It will start uh, before noon on Easter Island, and it will be over by 2.50, just before 3 o'clock. And at the maximum, the moon will be in front of the sun, moving across the sun for about six minutes, called annularity. And it's not a total eclipse. It's an annular eclipse. You'll need the glasses to protect your eyes. But it's an unusual event, made more unusual by the unusual place you get to watch it from, Easter Island. The most important thing about an eclipse is the experience of it. And you can have that experience anytime there is an eclipse. You just have to kind of be, be an eclipse chaser. And it'll take you to wonderful places all over the earth. And you'll find a lot of Native peoples who have different beliefs and different ways of observing things and celebrating things. And you'll have be doing things, take family with you, take something special to happen because you'll be doing this at a time you can always calibrate. It's a way to chronicle your life, to use the eclipses and the stories that will be spun and the photographs that will be made associated with each one. It really is dangerous when we want to see the moon we want to see that so wet, so much, you really have to filter it out. So the only time you don't use some kind of filtration is at totality. Even 95% covered, it, it, it like what we would see on you know right before totality, it's not really safe. It because that what is there is as bright as it's ever been. And if you stare at it, <laughs> you're maybe there's a smaller piece of your retina you're fooling with of your eye but it's still a problem so you have to wear the glasses except when the moon completely covers the photosphere of the sun you can make a pinhole projector of any sort the easiest one for most people to make was to uh take a cereal box tall family size cereal box and let light come in a quarter, say half of the top of the cereal box. And then uh, the other half, that's where you look in. And then the other half, we have a pinhole in it. And you'd get an image of the sun uh, at the back, at the inside of the box. 